See what happens when we stop and listen? We learn. We learn not only about people's deep-rooted fat phobia, but we also learn how many people truly care that brands are as size inclusive as they claim themselves to be. I want us to continue to listen. And today I want us to listen to Griselle. I'm willing to listen to Myra, but I also think that you should be willing to listen and speak as well, because it's very easy for you to speak in these very scripted videos where you're saying whatever you need to be saying. But when somebody comes at you, and we're going to cover some stuff in this video as well, because Samira's tried and true method. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm a little biased towards Samira. I thoroughly dislike this woman. I think that she speaks from a realm of superiority. I think she thinks she's better than everybody else. I think she thinks she's like God's gift upon this earth to bestow upon us the same rhythmic tone on every single song but 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 big bang it's the same thing in every single song okay she has no it's it's like ice spice like ice spice is very good at doing a few different things right talking about how fat her ass is talking about how great she can twerk it and all this other stuff samara's the same way when it comes to talking about being fat <laughs> says i mean personally speaking i think is a little bit more substance on being fat than rapping about how fat your ass is but it's okay um, I do like it when people do sing about their their asses, though, man or woman. It doesn't really matter to me. But for Samira, she's a pussy, a straight pussy. I'm a little biased. I think Samira is an asshole, um, mainly because Samira called me out and didn't actually call me out. <laughs> she just made a response video, didn't say anything at all, and sicked her dogs upon me, um, letting everybody believe that I was racist or sexist or whatever she said I was, um, which is really, really terrible. I think Samira is a terrible person. I think that she's a disgusting human being and i think she's a pussy as well but we're gonna see what these brand exclusive uh the brands are but i just want to point out that i am very biased biased towards samira uh i don't like the way she talks i don't like the way she walks i don't like the way she looks uh her hair does look better now though way better than it was before her hair was fried as fuck in that other video very 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 dry to dead ends her shit was flaking off but i'm happy that she has done the overnight conditioners, the uh, the hair masks, as you will. She's wearing her bonnets. Uh, I don't think any of her blankets have silk at all. I don't think those pillowcases are silk, which is eh, it's a little bit touch and go, but it's all right. I'm willing to listen, Samira. Let's, but please bestow us with this information as you talk to us condescendingly. Please, Samira, bestow us. Save themselves to be. I want us to continue to listen. And today I want us to listen to Griselle, the founder and CEO of Reb Dolls, as she talks about an experience she had with a potential investor. They said to me that a lot of brands don't want to expand. Past the size 20. Can you, can you like not eat? when you're making this video you don't have to you know that like i understand that you're trying to tell a story and you like your candies or whatever these are the charelle or brochets or whatever these are like do you remember those old ads in the day where it would be like the gods up on olympus and they were eating their chocolates with nuts and then one of them fell to the earth and then some random guy found it, it was like oh shit a, a godly chocolate bar we started making them i guess listen if they were godly then we shouldn't have been able to make them so anyway I don't give a fuck. It's not even that good of a chocolate. I've had them before. They're okay. I don't know why for so long people were saying they were like godly chocolate bars. They're just wrapped in gold flavored tinfoil, okay? There's nothing gold. There's nothing godly. It's not ambrosia. There's nothing about it that's good. But please, don't chew. Don't eat when you're making a point. That's all I got to say. That's all I want to say. And by the way, I don't necessarily care if somebody had an experience with an investor on their brand and they told her something like this, which doesn't even make sense at all, why would a brand tell you this? Why would a brand tell you, hey, uh, even though you want to do plus size clothing, we just can't really do plus size clothing because, you know, if we did plus size clothing, that would really hurt our brand. Why would they have any value in telling you that at all? Like, why would they ever say that? I just don't understand. It's like the villain at the end of the story telling you exactly what his, his whole theory and how he's going to destroy the world. And you're sitting there with the recording on on your phone so you can indict him so you can take it to the judge. And be like, see, he did say this. Why are you telling us this? Why are you disclosing your villain, your villain origin story? It just doesn't make any sense. But go ahead. Go off, queen. Slay queen edges. And today I want us to listen to Griselle, the founder and CEO of Reb Dolls, as she talks about an experience she had with a potential investor. They said to me that a lot of brands don't want to expand past the size 20 because their straight size customers feel alienated and no longer feel like the brand is cool. Samara, listen. The faces that you make are real expressive. They are. I understand exactly what you're saying through your faces. I would much rather you actually vocalize what you're saying rather than put your faces on display because at least when you vocalize these things, there's more nuance and you can explain things and you can give out some more detail and maybe a few explanations here or there. I don't know 
why it's so easy for you to just hear stuff and go, mm, 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 just say some words, just say some words. Again, this doesn't make any sense to me. Why would any company say this? What, what is even the purpose of this? I have no idea. Uh, Samara, what are we getting from this? Hmm? You just believe anything you see on the internet? Is this just like, oh yeah, this person said this, therefore I think that they're right. I don't care. I don't care, dude. If brands don't want to invest in plus size clothing for whatever reason they don't want to, maybe because they don't sell. Maybe it does dis maybe it does dissuade a whole bunch of thin people going in there, which is bullshit, by the way. I don't think that makes any sense at all. Uh would I be dissuaded if I went to the store and I saw a whole bunch of like children's clothes on display? No, I don't care. I'm happy that it's children's clothes. I don't care that it's plus size clothes either. I'm totally fine. I'm pretty sure most people are fine when they go into the store. It's not like they're having PTSD from that one time they were nine years old and a fat girl walked in with super skinny jeans and they were able to smell what they ate last night. Nobody cares, okay? We're totally fine with seeing plus size clothing occupy shelves. I mean, they may take up more shelves and more space per shelf because the clothes are way, 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 way bigger. But most people are not getting like post-traumatic stress syndrome from this shit, okay? Feel alienated and no longer feel like the brand is cool because now it is associated with larger bodies. That's a multi-million dollar investor. So what's the point here? Like, so, so what is the purpose, Samira? What are, what, are, what are we getting from this? Please, please let us know what we're supposed to take from this. Do what you must with that information. Okay, so the, what, from what I'm gathering from that from that information is, I was willing to invest with this company, and this company basically told me that my clothes were too fat and that it wasn't going to work because our clothes are seen as cool and thin people buy cool clothes. Therefore, if we incorporated your clothes, people would say that it's not cool anymore. Therefore, we're not going to invest in your clothes. So... What? What am I supposed to get from that? So these companies are just racist uh, against like big people clothing. They're super fat phobic. Like what am I supposed to do from this? Okay. I don't even know what this company is. Name and shame, please. If this is what it was, you have any evidence of them saying this stuff? It's all like, you're just saying words at this point. I would need to know. I would need to see some evidence. I would need to see like, where are you getting this from? Why would a company tell you all this? Why would they say that? Why wouldn't they just say, um, we looked at your brand, we saw what you had, and we, you know, through multiple people and exchanges of words, we've come to the realization that it's just not suitable for our brand and all, all this other stuff, so we're going to pass up on that offer. Why the fuck would they tell you their villain, their villain origin story about why they're not going to invest in your shit? I just don't make, it just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why would they ever tell you that? It's like a car dealership trying to sell you a car and you're like yeah this car looks really cool i really like the flavor of this car i like the way it looks i like the can you tell me some more stuff about the car absolutely absolutely sure no problem at all so this car is a total piece of shit it's actually kind of a mo it's, it's, it's astonishing that the car is still drivable after what we did to it uh multiple gangbangs multiple gangbangs the catalyst converter gone <laughs> Don't look in the engine. It's actually, it's taped together. Uh, we're using literal, we're using literal tap water for engine oil. Uh, it's a beautiful car though. We took great care of the outside of it. Why? Why would a car dealership, why would it, Why would somebody tell you that? Hmm? If they want you to buy the stuff, okay? Or they want to lead you uh, and they want to be more ambiguous. Why the fuck would they say all that shit to you? I, I just don't understand it. But go ahead, Samaris. Tell us, tell us what we're supposed to take from that, please. While you're looking off to the side as if she just said something which was crazy as fuck. Which is all hearsay, by the way. This is exactly- She could say whatever she wants and Samira would just reconfirm her own bias. Her, her, it would just reconfirm her own bias. That's a multi-million dollar investor. Do what you must with that information. This is exactly why it can't just be plus size shoppers speaking up about size inclusivity. So you want us to speak up about it too? What do you want us to say? Um, and by the way, what does this have to do with us speaking up about plus size? Why does that have to do with anything? You're telling me that this big corporation doesn't want to do it because then people want to have exclusivity to certain clothing brands. I don't. What are we supposed to do about that? So let's talk homework. And you have options that are online or offline. Starting with online, donate to Rep Doll's Kickstarter to- I'm good. I'm, I'm good, dude. You know what? Here's what we're going to do, okay? I think if we really want to make a difference, and I'm all for equality. I'm all for making sure people get stuff, have equal opportunities, and all this other stuff. So I think what we should do personally is I'm going to go ahead and link my bank account. Go ahead and just donate to that because I'm going to really like that. And- <laughs> I mean, it's equality. I mean, I'm going to be equally looking at my bank account and feeling happy about that. That's going to be real good. Go ahead and just just give me all of it. Everything. I don't, whatever it is, just link your bank account to my bank account. I'll take that. How about this, right? How about this? 
So I work for my money, right? You work for your money, and then you give me yours. That sounds pretty good. I like that. That sounds real good. What is the donation even going to do here? What is RevDoll even supposed to do? It's a, it's a Kickstarter. So you're telling me that an investor went to this Kickstarter and decided that it wasn't a good idea. And somehow that particular Kickstarter investment person of RevDoll saw all this. They, the, the person that went there, this multi-million dollar investor, just told them straight out that they weren't going to mess in there because they're fat phobic outright. Sounds believable. Sounds real believable, Samira. Um, sounds real like something that, that can actually happen. I'm not saying it couldn't happen. Obviously, it, uh, no, 100%. I'm sure the people at whatever multi-million dollar company had some really uh, d domestically violated brain capacities. I'm sure that those people had some absolutely smooth, smooth peanut butter brains. Kind of like the peanut butter that you'd be shoveling down your mouth on a daily basis. Hansa Meyer hit that protein goal. But it just doesn't sound real. None of this sounds real. But go ahead, keep telling us about the homework. You have options that are online or offline. Starting with online, donate to Rep Doll's Kickstarter to offset the inequity of investors. Inequity, now, if you don't have the inequity of investors, the inequity of investors, the inequity of investors. If you guys don't know what inequity means, it's basically when there are two groups or maybe even more groups of people that are not achieving the same goal. So in order to remedy that, what you do is you put another person you give them more options compared to the other group so like for instance think of think of affirmative action okay so like a, a large portion of black black people were not able to go to school so what they did was they created incentives for schools to accept more black people so maybe that means more scholarships for black people maybe that means there are more money options for those, those people uh more grants for those particular types of people whatever um, we no longer do that here in America. I think the Supreme Court ruled that out, which I agree with from the research that I did. It only it was only a defect for black people. I saw that a lot of these schools were getting tons and tons of money from the government, and then they would accept these these black kids who were obviously not ready to go to whatever school there was, and then they went to these top echelon schools, and they weren't able to compete to the to the degree that they were able to. So that led to a lot of dropout rates for these black for these black people. And it would have been fine if they went to another school where they were more suitable for, but because they were pushed into these big schools, why wouldn't you go to a big school if you were accepted to that big school and it was all paid for, right? You went to this big school, they got, they dropped out. It doesn't, no skin off, no skin off the college's back because they can just next year hire up more black people, right? Accept more black people, whatever. So equity, when it comes to investing, I don't understand that. How do we, how do we increase the equity of investors? You do understand how investing works, right? You do understand that it's not about equity. It's about whether or not somebody wants to invest in your company. You can't equitize investing. That doesn't even make sense. So like, <laughs> so like, what are we supposed to do? How do we use like force people to invest in companies because of equity? How the fuck does that work? No, no, there's no such thing as in, in, in equity in investing. People invest in what they want to invest in or they disinvest in it. There's no equity in that. What are you talking about? What is it? I just love it. I just love the modern words we use. Equity and investing is actually hilarious. I've, I've never heard those two words be used in the same sentence before. That's beautiful, Samira. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I would love to hear you talk more about this investing equity. Online, donate to Rebdoll's Kickstarter to offset the inequity of investors. Now, if you don't have the means to donate, please comment on or repost Grisel's videos to boost. Option two, make a video directed toward a brand that needs to expand their sizing. It's how about I make a video about how this doesn't make any sense how about i do that how about i make a video talking about how none of this actually makes any sense at all and all your points literally stand on zero value at all how about that does that does will that like help you amplify the messaging that you want huh what about what i want huh what about all the goodness that i want samira especially if they already claim to be inclusive three most companies will say that they're inclusive which is a very ambiguous term because inclusivity could literally mean something like well we have a shirt that's missing an armhole because we know that the people that shop at our store sometimes are missing one arm and that could be their definition of an equity that that could be their definition of equality that could be their definition of whatever uh so a lot of these companies will just say whatever words they have just to make it buy leave a comment send a dm or send an email to a brand that needs to expand their sizing and for our offline options the next time you find yourself shopping in store ask where are the plus sizes it's not gonna help anybody uh most of these people i remember when i was working at retail okay and i was a cashier because i sucked at doing anything else i was so bad 
that whenever they were like, hey, David, can you do returns? I was like, sure. And all I did was I would take the cart of all the returns and I would just go down to where the kayaks were or the big gazebos and I would just take the stuff and I would just I would just toss it. I would just toss it right into the, the random gazebos. This gazebo was like $4,000. Nobody's buying this fucking random gazebo. I don't even know how you get it out the store. But anyway, I would just take my shit and I would just... Yeah. I would just top it. I would just top it over to the into the gazebo. Nobody ever went there. It, to this day, probably if you went to that store, you're finding probably thousands of dollars worth of shit randomly shoved in between the crevices of this gazebo because I didn't. I was literally so fast. I would just toss it all in. There was no cameras. I would just toss it over there in this one section. By the way, there's no cameras in this one section. I would come back in five minutes. They're like, "Damn, Dave, you're so good at returns." But I think they caught on eventually because they stopped making me do them. But anyway. I would be at the front, okay, and I would be helping customers, and they would be having problems. They would go, how much is this? And I would go, oh, I don't know, let me scan it. I'd scan it, I would say, oh, this is how much this is. They would go, okay, um, but that's not the price. And I was like, okay, um, well, that's what it says here, that's what the price is. No, that's not the price. I don't know why you gotta lie to me, why you gotta do this and this. I'm gonna waste your time. I'm just saying like, dealers. I'm here for six to eight hours regardless. If you wanna waste my time, I don't really give a fuck. Um, it's either I handle you or I handle like 15 other people. It doesn't matter to me personally. I'm leaving here at five o'clock regardless of whether or not you or whoever is here wants, wants assistance or not. I don't care personally, right? So when I hear people say, ask about the plus sizes or go up to the, the, the retail employees, what do you think you're gonna get from that? Do you think these people have any say at all in what goes on in their store? Do you think even the managers have any say on what's happening in these stores? Are you crazy? This is not helping you at all. This is just making you look like an asshole. Walking up to employees and asking them, where's the plus size section, where there's not a plus size section, and then going, why isn't there a plus size section? That guy's gonna go, uh, dude, like, I don't even know. I'm just, like, working here for, like, 9 to 5, bro. I'm making, like, literally $14 an hour, man. Like, what are you even talking about? Why are you gonna be an asshole? That's what you're gonna do. Why the fuck are you walking up to random employees and asking them, why don't they have plus size sections? Do you think they know anything about what's going on in the store at all? Fuck no. So there's no point. Don't do that. That's asshole. Don't do that shit. The more the demand, the less investors can argue that the inclusion of plus size customers did. Listen, you can't argue for equity in investing. That's not how that works at all. That literally the entire point of investing is to think that a company or whatever it is has a lot of value and you believe in the value. You think that the value could go up and you think that it could it could beneficial it could be beneficial for you, it could be beneficial for the company. Why the fuck would it be equity in the in the in the investing? That would mean like everybody's investing in just random companies because and there would be no reason to do it. It could they could there could be a high possibility of this one failing. Fuck it. You gotta invest. What the hell are you talking about, Samira? Tier straight size customers. And option two, talk to a family member or friend about the difficulties of the plus size shopping experience. None of my friends and family give a fuck about any of that shit. If you don't have people in your life that care about certain things that you care about, there's no point of talking to them about it. So I'll give you a really good example. I really like Star Wars and I've had this issue before where I've talked to a girlfriend and I go, I really, Star Wars is so great. I can't believe they fucked up the show. I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. I want to suck off you and McGregor. And then the, my girlfriend at the time would just go, what is Star Wars? And then I just feel like an idiot because I just explained all this stuff to this woman. And then she just goes, I don't even know what you're talking about. So sometimes when you explain stuff to certain people, there's no value in it because that person is not in that area to have those conversations because they're not invested in those things. So when they say, talk about the shopping or talk to a friend and family member about that shit, you could, but it's probably not gonna be beneficial for you because you're not talking to the person that's actually gonna help you. So anyway. Because some people just don't know how hard it is. Most people don't give a fuck. Most people are doing their own thing. Most people already have tough lives to begin with. Everybody's going through their own shit. Now, please report back to class with your assignment in the next 48 hours. I'm skipping, dude. Whew, I'm skipping, dude. Hell yeah, man. Fuck it. I got other shit to do. We'll be waiting. Hollister, if you're going to use me to market your clothing without my permission, the least you could do is make plus sizes. Why is it always Snoopy? Snoopy, I'm sick of seeing you. Are you not tired? Like, do you need to be clocked out? I feel like you need a break, Snoopy. This is my voice and my sound from a video where I was discussing the lack of fashion in plus size fashion. Now, over 11,000 shares, half a million views, and God knows how many sales later, you have effortlessly proved my point. If you're going into a private, if you're going into a private uh, retailer, 
and you're recording yourself in this private retailer, which most of these have store, they'll tell you at the very front, don't record. If you're recording in these stores and you're talking about the, the options in the stores and you're upset that they took your voice while you posted that online free to use, what do you want? Why does it even matter that they took your voice or whatever? I understand what you're saying because they literally posted a video bragging about how great the selection was. That's kind of crazy actually thinking about it. You are out here complaining about the plus size selection and that Snoopy's on there. And then Hollister was like, you know what? This is a great opportunity for us to brag about our Snoopy selection. This is awesome. This is so great. They literally turned your negativity into positivity and you don't like that. That's actually hilarious. That's so great, Samira. Oh my God, positivity and all these... Good job, Hollister. You know what? There was a one time I did go into a Hollister and there was a guy that was missing an arm. He was so good looking. I almost didn't even notice he was missing an arm. I literally walked in and this guy was like, hey, can I help you guys? And I was like, I just looked up at this guy and I was like, oh my God, your jawline is so defined. How is it so wide and it's so deep and it has so many curves. Who are you? Are you a celebrity? How, who made you? Why are you so good looking? And he was, he was beyond the, one of the most attractive men I've ever seen in my life. And then after about 45 seconds of staring at him in awkward silence, I was like, oh, nah, nah, I'm probably just going to walk out of here anyway. I'm not really trying to spend $120 on a pair of jeans, but thanks anyway. And then he walked, he was like, oh yeah, no problem. And he did like a walk back, right? He did like a, a walk back. And I saw that when he was walking back, he did, he moved his right arm forward and his left arm didn't move forward. And I was like, oh, where's this? What's, what, why didn't he left arm? And then I realized that he had like a tied up left shirt and then i was like oh he doesn't have an arm that was the only time i've ever been into a hollister and it was really weird that a, a really attractive one-armed guy was in there but hey i'll give him a chance if i was a girl if i was a girl if i was a girl and he was in if i was gay and if he was also gay because i'm not into that james trump fan anyway brands profit off of the co-op this outfit is crazy by the way jesus man what am i even looking at right now android 19 right here opting of plus size messages and missions our voices are good co-opting you're funny. You're funny. You think you could just go into a random establishments, talk a whole bunch of shit, and think that people aren't going to say shit back to you? Samira, stop being a pussy. Stop being a pussy, bro. This is the name of the game. Get wrecked. Enough to include, but not our bodies. True. Which Your bodies are. But you're going to hear me and see me when I say this. You have stolen from me. And Hold up. So they stole from you. But you didn't steal from them, so you could just make whatever videos you want in their stores, talking about their shit, recording when you're in the changing rooms or whatever, even though most of these stores do not allow you to do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, nah, nah, they, yeah, they stole from you, right? They stole your shit, even though all your videos got downloaded, even though they used it in fair use? Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pinned it to your profile and put it on your bestsellers playlist. So to avoid further and they must be doing real well with that then. Damn, Samira, good job on selling. Good, you know what, Samira? Ah, in the quest of trying to find and make plus size clothes more accessible, you've actually made it worse. You've actually increased non plus size sales. That's ah, oh, Samira. Wow. Ah, you did it. You're really the villain of your own story. You literally helped the other side. Trouble for yourself. I suggest removing the video immediately. Damn. You made these sh or what? What's going to happen, Samira? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they don't remove it? Like, what are you going to do? Like, Hollister, a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar company. Like, you just, like, going to threaten them. They're probably looking at you going, <laughs> don't take it down. Shirts for this. So, I suggest removing the video immediately. You made these shirts. For this demonstration that the CFDA and Vogue are putting on. This is, I, I really fucking hate when Samara does this shit, bro. Because she's making it seem like it's so nonchalant and that it's like not a, it's not a problem for her. Just listen, pause the video every once in a while. When they say something you disagree with, check them, okay? And say, make a response. Instead of just sitting here do, applying your lip gloss and... I just don't like it, man. I think Samara's this is some real pussy shit. It's some real pussy shit, bro. Exchange words. Exchange words. Use your voice. You can use your voice when you make a response video to these big corporations, right? You can use your voice when 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 these big corporations are out here talking shit, but you can't do that in, in your scripted videos, but you can't do that when somebody actually has something to say about it. Interesting. This demonstration that the CFDA and Vogue are putting on. Fashion for our future. And they stop at an XXL. Fashion for our future is 
pretty good slogan actually fashion for our future fashion for our future f f a r no sorry f f a f that's pretty good fashion for our future yeah. <laughs> or our o u r sorry f f o f Fof. They don't even come in plus sizes but you that continuously want to sense what are you doing show I think Samira is out of the loop. I think Samira is so incredibly privileged that she doesn't understand that the things that she says are very, very, for most people, crazy. So when you say an XXL is small or it's not a plus size, most people look at that and go, what? What the fuck? Is that not a, is that not a plus size? Because most people don't know. Most people are looking at that shit and thinking if an, XXX, if an XXL is not plus size, then what the fuck is plus size? Like, side, what do you want? Right? So... Samira is 100% out of the loop. Samira is 100% out of touch. She doesn't understand how most people think, and you could tell. And also, Samira, this is not a response. I understand that this is very easy for you, but you need to actually put some put some effort into this, okay? Some some actual effort. Also, chicks on the right, cringe. They don't even come in plus sizes. But you that continuously want to center plus size bodies in your marketing. Oh my God, she mad. She really she, mad. She's rabid. You you think that 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 anger would burn some calories? True. <laughs> Airy. Damn, you just really put their voices out there and made them more popular. And that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Period, dude. One hundred percent. Would have thought would have would have helped you lose weight, put some passion into your vocals, but you don't put any passion when somebody says something to you. Why are you talking so much shit to these companies in your videos, but when, when somebody talks shit about you, you don't do anything about it? Such a pussy ass shit, dude. Pussy ass shit, dude. But good job on, you know, making these people uh, more popular. That anger would burn some calories. <laughs> yeah, and Samira making these faces as if it means anything at all, Samira. You're literally doing nothing right now. Airy, let's be real. I don't like you. I'm not your bestie. In fact, I think you actually might hate me since you constantly make a mockery of size inclusivity. I don't think big corporations even know about you, Samira. They might use you for a few product placements or whatever, but damn, that fit is kind of crazy, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I do like the gasoline green, though. It's one of my favorite colors or whatever color that is. Um, you're real brave for wearing that, though, out in public. It's fine. You can wear whatever you want to wear. I have no problem with it. But you can't you can't stop somebody from just, like, looking by you and go, Oh, my God, what is that? A walking ocean. No, it's not a walking ocean. It's just Samira. But, uh, yeah, Samira, it's fine. Like, people people will use you. It is what it is. Um, they're not, they don't specifically not like you, I'm sure. It's a company. In fact, I think you actually might hate me since you constantly make a mockery. Not everything needs to, not everything, like, are you a physical representation of the plus size community? Like, are you literally the ambassador? Huh? Are you? Are you? Or are you, are you like Dennis Rodman that goes over to North Korea? Like, we, you, he's our ambassador? No, we, no, you're obviously not. You're just a random person on the internet that makes content about this stuff. You're not the ambassador for plus size community. You're obviously not. You have the wrong messages and you don't even make sense. You have no, you have no ability, you have no backbone. You would think that somebody has as much weight as she does on her frame um, would have the ability to stand up in a proper position, given the fact that they're able to withstand the amount of weight on their body to begin with, but has no backbone. You have no backbone at all. You're, you're, you're straight up doing pussy shit whenever somebody, whenever somebody talks shit. So anyway, nobody cares about you. I don't know why you would think that. I'm not your bestie. In fact, I think you actually might hate me since you constantly make a mockery of size inclusivity. But Sexy is an energy, not a body type. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Ari. That's crazy, bro. Come on now. But you know what they say. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Extra large. By going into the store? Are you really battling with a whole retailer right now and thinking that walking into the store is like a political statement? Is this like your Rosa Parks moment? Like, yeah, they said I was their bestie on social media, on Instagram in a comment section. So in order to in order to like really, really, you know, slap them in the face to show my point, I'm going to go into a store. Okay. It's crazy. Do you have any XXLs in these? We typically don't carry that size in the store. Okay. I guess did you get them like as returns. Um, okay. So we made it to the fitting room. To my left on the wall, there is a I decal. just love when she has to hide the cameras and she has to try to make it seem like she's not recording. And then when the companies use her vocals or use her, uh, 
then she has a problem with it. I just love it. It's just great. This says embrace everything about you. Yeah, okay, you're, you're, you're really reaching. You're really reaching, dude. Are you going to be upset when you go into your mom's house and you see live, laugh, love, and nobody's live, laughing, or loving, and then you go, this is, a, this, this is, this is, what is this, bro? Everybody in this house is depressed, but you have a big sign that tells me to be live, laugh, and love. This is ridiculous. You guys are all hypocrites. No, okay? They just write shit on the fucking wall. It could literally be anything. It could say glory holes on the left, and you would still have a problem. We'll see if these clothes embrace. Yo, why you grabbing onto that shit like that, bro? What the fuck you doing right now? Stop grabbing onto that shit like that. There's kids out here. It's everything about me. Ooh. So everything that I'm trying on today is an XL, which once again is the biggest size they carry in store. Ciao. So we're trying on this blue set. It looked a little stretchy and I was feeling a little cheetah delicious. So I got this set and then this little slip dress. Let's start with the cheetah. I don't think it's going up anymore. <laughs> Damn, that's fat as fuck, bro. You really ripping pants out here, dude? That's crazy as hell. <sighs> Samira, you knew this shit wasn't gonna fit you, bro. You knew that if you weren't... If you bigger than an XL, why would you try on an XL? Hmm? That's like me buying regular size condoms. <laughs> it's never gonna fit, right? I need that big shit. I need that insane shit. I need that crazy... I'm using literal... Uh, I'm using Japanese anacondas, water snakes, in order to, to remedy my problem. And you literally going into these stores, setting yourself up for failure. If you're out here thinking that Samira is doing any good for any of these plus size communities by walking into these stores to try to prove that they don't have plus size clothing by trying on the plus size clothing that she knows that she doesn't fit into. And then somehow that's like an own to these retailers. It's not. It's not. It's dumb. Okay. And then also she's just ripping clothes willy nilly. She just literally destroyed. She just literally destroyed property uh, because <laughs> I got to make content. I got to make content, right, dude? I got to I gotta do what I got to do. Crazy. Uh, yeah, but no, Samara, you're definitely like a civil rights leader for the modern age. Ripping clothes inside of retailers and getting upset that there's like live, laugh, love signs on the walls. And then thinking that you're doing something because a company said they called you a bestie on Instagram. Mm, doing well. <laughs> Also recording in a, uh, you know, in a private, in a private place. Very beautiful as well. I'm ripped up. I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna buy him. <laughs> this can't be real. Why would you try it on? Dude! Okay, look, I gotta point this out. Why are you even trying it on if you knew it wasn't gonna fit you to begin with? There's... I just don't understand it, bro. No, I do understand it. Because this is the point. This is the point of the video, okay? Samira is not here to make a point. She just wants to go in and make a mockery of these stores, even though the mockery that she's making, it doesn't make any sense at all. That'd be like Shaquille O'Neal trying to fit into like a Mini Cooper. Why? Why? Why would you do that? You know this shit ain't made for you. You know this shit isn't sized up for you. If you're sitting here at way bigger than an XL and you're trying on XLs, why? You knew that shit wasn't gonna fit you and you're over here acting surprised that this shit doesn't fit you? What is wrong with you? What are you talking about? You literally said that you're bigger than an XL and you're trying on XLs. You're dumb. You're stupid, dude. And you... But you know what? Hey, bro. Entertainment, right? I ripped him. I'm gonna buy him. I'm gonna buy him. Whatever, bro. <sighs> this can't be real. Y'all, look how bad this is ripped. It's literally ripped. <laughs> Ooh. It's tight. I, I gotta get I gotta get out of this. Okay. What is that? Is that the C? Wait a minute. It's tight. <clears throat> well, that's just where it's gonna stop. I'm sweating. I don't think this is... You're sweating putting on clothes? Samaya, you don't think you got an issue? You don't think you got an issue? You don't think you got an issue that you sweat and putting on clothes and stuff like that? I just, man, you really, you nah, is a bad person, bro. You're literally out here trying on clothes you know aren't going to fit you. And then you're acting surprised when they don't fit you. And then you're acting like it's a big deal. Okay, Samara, though, whatever, bro. And people like watching this woman. This is the intended fit. I gotta go. I just wanted to buy these because I can actually rip them while trying them on. Uh, Damn, 40 89 for that? Woo! For the pants? 40 bills? Woo! Damn! You could have easily picked up that same pair off Sheen. Four bucks, four or five bucks, but whatever, dude. Have a great day. What do you mean swallowing your pride? You literally broke it. You literally ripped the fucking pants, bro. So, I mean, that would be the right thing to do. What do you mean swallowing your pride? That's literally what you're supposed to do. You have a good one. Every, I hate you. Target is... What do you mean... How can you even blame Aerie at all when you literally went into the store? They said, all we have is an XL and you're bigger than an XL and you still tried on the clothes. And then when they ripped, you said you hate them, but you did it to yourself. 
slowly removing this plus size section. But it's funny because they've shrunk the section but are cramping clothes into it. Don't believe me? It's the only space we have is gonna be good. That unless the, whatever jean is here puts here and then you can put it here. This is all we got. <laughs> they Did they like shrink the plus size section? I thought it was like there and it, we there. We did a little bit. Yeah. Oh, why is Target doing yeah. this to us? But this is basically every stuff. Probably just doesn't sell. I mean, they probably have to put other stuff out. Depending on the season, things will sell more. I don't know, Samira, dude. Like, you know the reasons why, dude. You know the reason. You're literally purposely ignorant dude you literally went into a store proclaiming that you don't fit the clothes and you still tried them on and act surprised you know the reason bro and you, you're acting purposely ignorant to try to make a point it's stupid it's dumb and you know what it may work for other people but i'm not stupid okay i'm not that stupid at least style every dress oh, everything that we have i just feel like everything. it's so cramped yeah like, it really is so what dude what they got the clothing options to begin with right go to the men's section T tell us how many shirts they got in the men's section like let's compare it to the racks of the street sizes okay listen dude you can't do that that's a really really you don't want to do that bro comparing the plus size section to the to the to the plus to the to the straight size section Dude, listen, more people go into stores for the straight size selection than they will in the plus size selection. Therefore, there's going to be more clothes in that section. Am I wrong? Whatever, bro. Now, what is Target going to do? They're going to say the plus sizes aren't selling, even though they didn't facilitate an environment for us to have the same shopping experience as straight size customers do. You're, you're a victim. You're a victim. You're a pussy. You're just saying shit just to make yourself feel bad. You're trying to take away all accountability from yourself. You're refusing to lose weight. And then you're complaining about the same issues over and over again. You have absolutely no agency. And you have only ever complained. That's it. And you're literally creating your own problems just to have more problems. It's beautiful, man. We really reached a point in our lives where we used to fight for real things, you know, equality. We used to fight for women's rights. We used to fight for, you know, the ability for black people to vote and things such and so forth. But now we don't have much to fight over anymore. Like now think life is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. There are things to worthy to be fight about. But a lot of these people don't want to really do those things. Instead, what they want to do is create their own problems to fight over because it's beneficial to have a cause. And these people just create their own issues just to fight over them. Isn't it beautiful, bro? You would think that you could just pick up a fighting game and just do that for like 45 minutes to an hour. But nah, you got to go to Target, complain that the plus size selection is too small. And even though the clothes are there, still complain about it. And then say, well, you know what? It's not our fault that the we we don't go in not because the clothes aren't there. We don't go in because the clothes, even though they are there, the the the, the section is too small. So even when the clothes are there, it's too small. And when the clothes aren't there, they don't fit. So like, what can we do? What do we do? Huh? How do we solve this issue for you? You just want a whole store dedicated to plus size selections? Like, how does this work exactly, dude? You're never gonna be pleased. You're literally out here forever complaining, Samira. Our section is cramped. Our section is cluttered. We can- What do you mean section is cramped and cluttered, bro? Yeah, the clothes are there, the clothes are there. Even properly move items on the racks from the left to the right to get a good glimpse at them. But I- just, just complaining about literal nothing at this point. But they're still gonna find a way to blame us. So TJ- You gotta stop externalizing your own problems, dude. You gotta literally- Stop. Okay, you gotta handle the shit. You gotta you gotta handle the shit yourself. Calories in, calories out. The rules of thermodynamics applies to everybody. Okay, you're not gonna be able to take a car across the country with zero gas in the same way that you're you're not gonna not lose weight if you eat less. Max decided to have a runway this year, and guess what? Come on. <sighs> the fastest way for who? to make the world their runway. TJ Maxx, y'all almost had me fooled because after seeing that almost every rack said more sizes just arrived, I thought, hold up, this might actually be a runway that I see myself on. I don't like Samira at all, dude. She's she's just so condescending, bro. But I quickly realized who TJ Maxx really wants to make the world their runway. And it ain't me. And they made that very clear with proud displays of the size requirement. <sighs> so I, I really just don't get what all the balloons are for. I mean, what's there to celebrate? I guess they just really happy about not being size inclusive. Beautiful woman, forever disappointed in herself, never actually taking accountability. Even when she gets what she wants, she's still upset by it. You can never please this woman. She's literally a person that, I mean, she gets all her value from what other people do, 
Um, she's honestly, even when they do have what they want, it doesn't matter because that's not the point of her video. I called her out on that video that blew up too. Um, that the point of these videos is not actually to solve the problem. It's just to complain. If that's all it is. Okay. Because if you continuously complain, then there's always something to complain about. If the problem gets solved, it doesn't matter because that wasn't my initial problem because she's always going to be ambiguous about the problem because she always comes up with a new problem when, when they even fix their problem to begin with. Like that video where she went to Ari, um, even when they said they don't have the clothes, she's still going to go in there and she's still going to try them on, break the clothes, and then complain that they broke them. It is what it is, dude. Samara's beautiful. She's awesome. I love her. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if everybody could like the video, subscribe, share the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff, I'd appreciate you tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in crab because I think they need more representation. I think that the equity for crustaceans is very very low right now and we need to really put them out there we need to put them back on the map crustaceans um the sea spiders are beautiful organisms people uh and they they, they do got they do a lot of good stuff they regrow limbs sometimes i watch videos of them eating stuff there's tons of videos actually of crabs eating things i saw a video the other day of a crab eating a pringle and i thought it was pretty awesome um i don't usually see crabs eating pringles and i like the little mouth mouths they have like a mouth and they have a mouth in their mouth that they use to like pick pieces off stuff and put them in their mouth and that's awesome and they're also magical creatures as well because i saw a video also where somebody had a crab it had no legs at all but it was still living but when i was watching the video i kind of deduced that the person that was making the video probably took off the legs itself so that way they can have a video of a crab without any legs and eating pringles so maybe that person was bad as well kind of like those people that make videos about like cleaning off ducks and with dawn dish soap and you're just thinking like why did the duck have grease on it? Why did the duck have oil on it? Why? Did, how did this happen? Like, where did you just find a random duck in a shell station? And you were like, oh, wow, a shell station duck covered in oil. Let me go ahead and clean this, part, this, this duck off with Dawn Dish Soap. No, they probably covered that duck with oil and then cleaned it up just to make moral sympathy points or whatever, dude. Some people are really bad on the internet. But anyway, guys. You're beautiful. I know you would never do anything like that. I know you take care of your animals and the people around you. That's awesome. That's really cool, by the way. I love that you take care of so many people for you because you know that even though you don't have to do it, you still do it. And that's awesome. Um, it takes a big person, not like big as in, but big as in like morally speaking, um, you know, mentally speaking, it takes a big person to take on responsibility that not, that necessarily is not your own, but you're going to do it anyway, because you know that if you don't do it, nobody else will. And that's awesome. That's fantastic. I'm happy that you're able to do that. And I'm happy that the other people, even though those people may not look upon you and think that you're doing a lot for them. I know you're doing a lot for them. They may take advantage of it, but I would never take advantage of it. I'm going to acknowledge the amazingness that you do on a daily basis. It's awesome. It's fantastic. Good shit on doing good shit. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, they'll be listed down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace. Star patch.